What's up, people? I get asked a question a lot, Paul, what kind of workout equipment should I buy? So I'm going to give you some insight on what I think would be the best things for you to invest in, and then also how you can possibly turn your garage into a gym if that's something that you want to do. I've actually had a few people ask me that too, and I've helped them do that. So look, first things first, out of all the equipment that you could possibly get, there's so many different things out there. First, get a jump rope. Jump ropes are cheap, they're just super effective, they're great for your cardiovascular health, great for your joints. Do that. I'm getting chased down by a mosquito and I just killed you, boy. I just killed you, I don't know if they can see that, whatever. All right, next thing is you wanna get some dumbbells, okay? Dumbbells are just so versatile, there's so many different exercises that you can do with dumbbells. I would recommend you to get power blocks. Power blocks are kind of like dumbbells, except you can adjust them so that you can make them heavier or lighter. That way you don't need to take up all this space. Now, once you have, once you have your dumbbells and your jump rope, you're pretty much set. I mean, most people, that's all you need. Now, I get asked a question, Paul, what kind of uh, cardio equipment should I get? Should I get a treadmill, an elliptical? I would advise not to. I would say get a rowing machine if you can. Uh, because you could always just go out to the beautiful outside and go for a walk or a jog. Um, let me just tell you this. Before you even think about buying cardio equipment or, or workout equipment, you don't want it to just sit in your house and collect dust. That's what I see in my experience. People buy workout equipment and they, don't, they use it a little bit and then they just stop using it. So before you even do that, consider investing in a trainer. Consider paying one of your friends to hold you accountable before you just start accumulating workout equipment, okay? Okay, so like I said, jump ropes, dumbbells, you're pretty much set. If you're a little bit more advanced, you wanna do more things, if you have more room, I think a squat rack is the way to go. Squat rack, you can do all the primary major compound lifts, some shoulder presses, some bench presses, you can do pull-ups on the thing, TRX bands are great for body weight movement. Uh, hey, that's a, that's a great point right here. Uh, this is a great piece of workout equipment. What am I talking about? I'm talking about gravity. That's pulling that down. All you really need is your body weight. Anyway, another subject, but yeah, with the TRX bands, you can use your body weight. Uh, TRX, I wanna say this thing is at least $150, so it is a bit of an investment. I would encourage you to buy the knockoff brand because I'm pretty sure that their patent is up. So you can buy a knockoff brand that's just as good, that's a lot cheaper. So squat rack, TRX, uh, some, some rings are pretty, they're pretty cheap and you can do gymnastics type movements. Have you seen those gymnastics people? Have you seen their body? Yeah, great. And the thing is, don't be scared. There's always progressions and regressions to all different kind of movements, okay? You wanna, get, you wanna get at least one bench. There's so many things that you can do on a bench. You can do a rows on them, bench press. There, there's just a ton of exercises that the bench, you can utilize the bench. Let's see, uh, barbells, barbells, bumper plates, I think are great versus these plates over here. The thing about these plates is you can't drop them. And you may not think that you want to drop your plates, but why not? get these and if you feel like it or if you do a movement that requires it you have that option versus getting stuck with those those ones over there kettlebells i would not advise you to get kettlebells because you can pretty much do all the same movements with the dumbbells so i think kettlebells i mean there are pros of the kettlebells there are certain advantages or maybe different variations of exercise that you can do that you cannot do with the dumbbells but for the most part, just stick with the dumbbells. If you feel like you have expendable income, if you're advanced, then get some kettlebells. Foam rollers, I think that you should definitely invest in those. They're pretty cheap, great for flexibility. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about that. Watch my other videos where I show you how to use the foam rollers. A mat, you could buy mats if you want. My mats are dirty, obviously, as you can tell. But if you have carpet or if you're okay with just being on the ground, then just be on the ground. Uh, mats aren't too expensive, so just grab a mat if you want to. If you're gonna be working out outside, a fan's probably a good idea to cool you down. 
Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I got my client rolling up here right now. So let me know if you guys have any other questions. I actually made this uh, parallette right here for about 20 bucks. It's another great piece of gymnastics equipment. Ah! Oh, you can't even see him, whatever. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, God bless you all. Peace.